All right, so I am super excited for this one. Today, we've got with us Lisa Hatcher, the owner of Hatcher Team. She is actually my former mentor when I first joined EXP back in 2019. So this is super exciting uh, getting you on the channel, Lisa, and I really appreciate you jumping on as well and you know giving us a little uh, story of you know everything you got going on. Yeah, I'm super excited to be here uh great talking to you you were a great mentee back then and you are an incredible agent now thank you lisa so um for those of you that are not aware of you the audience that may be watching can you tell us you know where you are you know where you're at physically i am actually in williamsburg virginia and we handle uh business all the way to richmond which includes new kent county all the way down to hampton area which is down to the water we try not to cross the bridge too much got it okay and how long uh, have you been in business well our team has been in business since 2001 wow. where i started as an unlicensed assistant for my husband and then we switched roles maybe 10 years ago ish and i became the lead and he became the marketing director oh that is awesome so you guys have seen it all 20 22 years yes a lot of ups and downs along the way so uh the the knowledge is great as far as what can come at us of course there'll always be something new yeah yeah i can only imagine everything that you guys have seen and an experience i'm hoping the audience can pick up some golden nuggets here and there from this interview um, so, so tell me a little bit, Lisa, you know, obviously you've been in for 22 years and you've seen a good amount um, and, you know, you've seen the markets go up and down as well. Can you give me an idea of what your current setup is? You know, how many people are on your team? Sure. We have uh, three people on our team right now, plus Greg and myself. So there's five of us total. Um, I'm the lead agent and Greg is the marketing director so he handles anything that comes at us for the whole team um and then we have three agents that use basically buyers agents but then they also do their own listings when they come up um one of them actually being my 18 year old daughter yeah i heard that's super exciting she just got her license recently too right she did she did so she she's a go-getter and very bubbly so we're, we're super excited to have her on a team and also, hey, maybe she'll get uh, handed something down if she decides to go this path. Yeah, that's phenomenal. I look forward to connecting with her one day. Um, and, you, you know, you obviously you guys are at a high production level as well. Can you give us a good idea of, you know, what the production looked like maybe the last year or two? So the last, I'd say, three years were at a little over 10 million um, and our goal this year is 17 million so our team is uh now ramping up we did a lot of training the last year or so and uh i think they're they're ready to rock and roll this year so we're hoping to to pump things up to about 17 million is our goal that's awesome i know you bringing on any more team members at the moment or absolutely would bring on some new team members um we're, we're we're looking for the right person to fit in our team um that can gel we prefer a full-time agent instead of a part-time agent um it's much easier to get in there and help them do what they need to do if they can dedicate the time to it yeah uh, so from the sound of it for anybody that's listening out there if they're in the williamsburg uh well northern peninsula area really right williamsburg yes. richmond hampton newport news area if you're if you're a full-time agent and you need the right support uh the mentorship you know lisa's team is definitely taking people on depending on you know how how you guys might gel together so reach out you know i'll give the information at the end on that um and you know can you give us a good idea within the last you know 22 years um you know obviously the last six was was with exp right correct okay and then what was it what were you where were you at before exp uh before exp we spent six months i think with uh chantel ray which uh i think once we got in there felt that wasn't our um our vibe 
we just really we didn't gel uh, the way we thought we would. Before that, we had been with uh, Fathom. We've kind of been all over the place. We've tried different things. And to be honest, we really thought that EXP was our place for the rest of our career. I did too. But, so it's amazing, you know, things come up, things change. So always be looking for new opportunities because they're out there. Yeah, and, and Fathom, I believe, is a 100% brokerage too, right? It is, it is. It's, it's a, a relatively similar uh, brokerage, so. Yeah, that's that's quite interesting, you know, because you went from the 100% to the EXP 80-20 model, you know, with the revenue share and all that. What, um, so let's give the audience a good idea, you know, give me three things, three main things on what intrigued you about LPT and what made you decide to, you know, join LPT Realty and partner up with us here at Freedom Growth Partners. Yeah, so I think it um, really divided up into two different areas, one being for the team itself. Uh, we really felt that the business builder model for them was a great place to start. Uh, so that their income wasn't getting chopped up quite as much um and so that was a big push for us uh you know helping our team members out making sure that we have a happy uh agent at the end of a deal as well uh, yeah. so that that was a one big place uh the other part that bar none i uh, really was the marketing that lpt had uh we really felt like that was really helping out our client, uh, bringing in, we felt like that would really bring in a lot more buyers, giving them more money at the end. So yeah. we, we really felt that that was uh, another big push. So those were probably our two big things that, that made us go this direction. Okay. Got it. So, uh, one, the team structure, uh, made it more flexible for the team agents, essentially, because the model that you're talking about with the business builder, they have to pay a hundred, uh, you know, it's a hundred percent commission, but there's no monthly fees, no sign up fees, no desk fees, nothing like that. And they just only pay when they close. And then the neat thing that you're talking about is they just pay $500 per file. And you know, that's really in there's, you know, the 195 transaction fee. Um, uh, but yeah, and that's capped right at 5,000. So you just close 10 deals. So th that's one of the same things, uh, Lisa, you know, when I, what intrigued me about LPT, when I started forming the team, I was like, man, this model is more beneficial for my team agents where everybody can essentially, you know, I can still make the same amount and they can make more. So that's really what was intriguing about that. Yes, absolutely. Um, and the marketing that you're talking about for the audience that may not be familiar with some of the marketing material LPT provides, are you talking about the listing power tools, like everything there? Yes, absolutely. We were really uh, kind of twofold, really mostly though, for the listings, as far as all the marketing and really pulling in your buyer to be your partner or your seller, excuse me, your seller to be your partner um, yeah. in, your venture, uh, making them feel part of it. But also there are a lot of buying uh, paperwork and uh, pamphlets yes. that help that educate them and help you educate your buyer as well. Yeah, like seven ways to bring down your mortgage payment, things like that, yep. Right. And it's like super cool too, cause it's within, you know, the, there's the AI Desi, you just put in your, your, your picture and then it literally larges, makes it smaller. You don't have to spend any time trying to put it onto all the pamphlets. So that was cool. And then how about, um, cause I know you guys had time too, before you came over. Right. So I was in a similar situation where, um, I looked at chime as another resource where I was paying, you know, me and my lender split was all together. It was about 800 bucks a month. This is before chime ended up being like 1100 bucks a month nowadays. I think, um, that was another thing for me, the marketing, I got that provided. Did you see any value in that at all? Well, we had really just switched over. So yes, we, we, we had obviously already looked into Chime and were very impressed. We had gone from several different websites on our own um, and not being really my forte on there, uh, but Greg was very excited. Oh, this is so much easier to work with. Um, just makes, you know, whatever job you have to be able to accomplish in that much less time, so. Yeah, yeah. 
And any anything else that intrigued you with LPT? The third one? The third one. Well, everything that we've heard, um, while we haven't met Robert Palmer yet, um, he just sounded like such an enthusiastic and part of his team that we we were just super excited that he he we maybe get to meet him and all the energy that seems to follow him so that was a big part too yeah for me too um uh, i like knowing that you know obviously we're growing really fast and i like being i like knowing that we're part of that growth and yeah he is very engaged uh tune in to you know motivational mondays i don't know if you know about that lisa do you no okay so on mondays every monday at 10 o'clock he jumps on call uh throughout without with pretty much a zoom call everybody jumps on it's from 10 to about 10 45 he'll go over right now what's big that he's going over is the since he's heavily involved in banking he's going over what's how the banking failure is going to affect us in real estate so he's been keeping us informed on that but along with that anything new coming up with the company where we might be launching next things like that and any questions he'll answer as well so that tune in on that um, once you, I'll get you a link to it in case if you don't have access to, you have access to connect already, right? Yes, we do. All right, cool. Awesome. So it's going to be in the, uh, it's going to be in the knowledge base article. You just type in motivational Monday and then you'll be able to get, I'll, I'll send you over a link. So this way okay. you can just register, but it's every Monday he does it, which is super cool. Um, you know, another thing too, that I don't know if you're aware of that might be beneficial for other agents out there listening to that might be interested in LPT every Thursday, there's at 10 o'clock, I believe it is, there is uh, uh, pretty much a LPT Realty Explained by corporate. So if you have anybody that's interested, you could literally send them to there. They could listen to what LPT Realty is about, and then they put you down as who invited them, essentially. Okay. So just these systems in place to support the agents like you're talking about, right? Um, and so well, one thing I want to leave the audience with, Lisa, for... For those that are out there listening, you know, obviously the last six months, there has been changes in regards to the real estate market. If you're used to, you know, from 2019 to 2021, right? And it's slowed down a little bit here and there. And there's some agents that may be newer just getting in or, you know, some that are already experienced and struggling. What advice would you give them, you know, being that you've seen a good amount within the last 22 years? Right. Like what advice would you give those agents out there? What one advice it would be one golden nugget. The one golden nugget is have a routine. Do this. Have a plan and make it your job. You can't just sit around on the couch and think somebody is going to come and show up at our doorstep. Hey, I'd like to buy a house. You have to work. Yes, it is a job. Make a routine and you can do anything you want. Yeah, I, I totally agree with you on that too, Lisa. Um, I think that, well, so for me, the saying is you treat, you treat this like a legitimate nine to five, it will pay you a lot more than a nine to five. Yep. It's, it's crazy because a lot of people get into the industry. Uh, that's a great advice because a lot of people get into the industry and they're, they're, you know, most join for the freedom of the time and then <laughs> that ends up being the trap for them. So, and then they fall out of the routine. But if you actually treat this like a legitimate nine to five, where, especially if you got nothing going on, that entire day should be spent outbound anything, just trying to find some sort of business, whether it's door knocking, if it's provided by, you know, all, that's all the materials provided by LPT as well. If you wanted to go door knocking, if you wanted to you know, message people on Facebook, whatever it is, cold call, right? Whatever it is, you definitely need to make into a routine. So definitely couldn't agree with you any more on that. Uh, so let's end it off with this, Lisa, where can people find you? You know, one, if they want to possibly join your team, um, and two, if they want to learn more about it, more about you, uh, cause you're over in the Williamsburg, the Northern Virginia area. So where can people find you? All right. So the easiest way is to call or text me. My personal phone number is 757-218-6301. Otherwise, you can find me on Facebook, Instagram, my website. They are all Hatch Your Team Homes. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you, Lisa. Well, hey, I appreciate your time today. Again, appreciate you jumping on, and I look forward to growing together. Yes, absolutely. Thank you so much, Tane.